This is part one of the All Clone Trooper Types series. Part two will come out tomorrow, a link to which will be in the description of this video. First are the standard clone troopers. They were the most common troopers in the clone army. Because they were bred for war, they served as excellent soldiers and worked extremely well with their Jedi allies. For the first half of the Clone Wars, they wore standard Phase 1 clone trooper armor. Although, this armor provided protection from the environment and blasters, it was heavy and uncomfortable. This led to the creation of the Phase 2 armor, which not only was lighter and more comfortable, but it also provided better protection against blasters. Standard clone troopers were generally equipped with the DC-15A blaster rifle, or the DC-15S blaster. Second are the Clone Ordnance Specialists, also known as the Bomb Squad Troopers. They were specialized in bomb disarmament and disposal. They wore orange marked armor and were equipped with explosive sensors, ion probes, and bomb diffusing tools. Third are the Clone Cold Assault Troopers, also known as Clone Snow Troopers. They were trained to operate in extremely cold regions, and they were equipped with modified armor and equipment that helped them effectively fight in the snow. Fourth are the Clone Flame Troopers. They were specialized in the use of BT-X42 heavy flamethrowers, as well as other incendiary weapons. They wore specialized armor that protected them from extreme heats. They were used to clear out large groups of enemies in enclosed areas. Fifth are the Clone Lancer Troopers. They were specialized in speeder bike combat. They rode special Aerotech 105K Lancer bikes and wielded powerful lances. Sixth are the Clone Scout Troopers. They were used in situations that required fast-paced combat, along with their advanced camouflaged armor. They wore a body glove that covered their neck, legs, and arms, which allowed them to move quickly. Their helmet had a wide visor plate, which gave them a larger visual area. Seventh are the Clone Jet Troopers, also known as Aerial Clone Troopers. They were equipped and trained in the use of jetpacks. They were effectively used in ambushing the enemy from behind and above. Many of them were equipped with electromagnetic pulse launchers. Eighth are the Clone Shadow Troopers. They were primarily used for reconnaissance. They wore very expensive armor, which allowed them to alter their physical appearance, being able to take the appearance of a Hut Cartel or Black Sun mercenary. The armor also reflected scans and could act as a jamming device. Ninth are the Galactic Marines. They were trained to be able to fight in many different environments, even in space. They were specialized in boarding and capturing enemy starships as well as planetary assault. They wore very unique body armor with purple and white coloration. Their masks and visors were designed to keep out various hazards such as snow, sand, and ash. Tenth are the Clone Marines, not to be confused with the Galactic Marines seen previously. Clone Marines were used for warding off enemy boarding parties, as well as conducting boarding parties themselves onto enemy vessels. They were equipped with jetpacks and armor that allowed them to stay in space for long periods of time. Eleventh are the Clone Scuba Troopers. They specialized in underwater combat. They wore special armor that was lighter than regular clone armor and was designed to be effective underwater. They were outfitted with aquatic propulsion packs on their backs and fins on their feet to increase agility underwater. Their helmets possessed powerful lenses and sensors to allow them to see through potentially cloudy water. Their helmets could exact viable oxygen from the surrounding water, eliminating the need for oxygen tanks. Twelfth are the Clone Blaze Troopers. They wore heavy combat armor that was equipped with a jetpack. They were equipped with various weapons, including flamethrowers and miniguns. They were used for busting through enemy lines and clearing a path for incoming friendly infantry. Thirteenth are the Clone Paratroopers, also known as Clone Airborne Troopers. They were specialized in dropping into battle from high altitudes. They wore a special helmet and were equipped with a parachute when dropping into battle. Fourteenth are the High Orbit Precision Entry Troopers. They were clone commandos who were launched from orbit in one-man escape pods. These escape pods would split open when reaching the target and allow the trooper to descend to their target. Fifteenth are the Clone Heavy Gunners. They were trained to use some of the most powerful weapons and explosives in the military's arsenal. 
These included missiles, grenades, and demolition charges. They were usually equipped with a massive blaster cannon. 16th are the Clone Heavy Troopers. They were commandos that specialized in the use of heavy weapons, like the PLX-1 Portable Missile Launcher. They were used for anti-vehicle and anti-armor duties. 17th are the Covert Ops Clone Troopers. They were used to hunt down and kill clones who deserted the clone army. Last for part one are the Blurg Troopers. They rode on top of Blurgs and used them to mow down enemies. Blurg Troopers were usually equipped with a flamethrower. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the force be with you.